Way next. On a wonderful fall afternoon in the state of Texas, the roof is open and we've got football from NRG Stadium in Houston. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the Houston Texans. Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis with you from our broadcast perch. And Charles, as we get this thing started, what are you going to be keeping your eye on? Special teams. Field position is always a big determiner in a ball game. Who sets their offense up for success the best? That team will win the game. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Out comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at six foot five. That's Josh Allen. I remember when he came out of Wyoming, the big question mark. Could he be accurate enough to be a star in the NFL? I think it's safe to say he's put all of us in our place and put those doubts to rest. He can roll out and run it. He can bomb it over your heads. Everything in between he is an absolute nightmare for defenses to try and prepare for. And when he's on, he's an MVP caliber player each and every time he takes the field. Allen going to look to throw on the first play. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards on the game's opening play and a quick first down. That's a good start to the ball game. Maybe a little bit of a tone setter offensively. They come out throwing right away, and it's an early completion and a quick first down. Play action. Now it's Allen. And that's caught at the 25. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That one good for 37 yards. Well, things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone, this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us or their game plan, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. He's got his target. It's the tight end Knox. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Boy, no problems getting down the field here on this opening drive. They've looked really sharp in the early going. And they've come up with some big plays already. Here's another that's going to set up first and goal. Quick throw complete. Only a yard of the completion. It's second and goal. We're scoreless after one. The Bills with the football as we start quarter number two. As they come up now, second and goal. Now Allen again. And he's got his tight end Knox for a Bills touchdown. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Bills post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. The Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. And it's 7-0 Buffalo. That time, 70. 
25-yard drive, five plays. And it culminates in a Bills touchdown. To the touchdown bass to kick it away this taken in right around the goal line and a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30 yard line so out come the Texans for their opening drive and they will be let out by their 6-3 quarterback I tell you what when he's on schedule for that week secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm is capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Stroud now on first and 10. Now they set up the screen, that's complete. A nice little screen, they get six on first down. And some play callers, when they go into games, they don't mind calling a lot of screens and they don't care what down. They were maybe one block away from really having something there to start this drive. Good job defensively to cut through the blockers and make the tackle on the screen, or that could have gone for maybe 15 or 20 yards. Stroud out of the gun here. Over the middle, he gets it to Collins. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Well, if you do read man covers, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. A shotgun snap to Stroud. Got his man, Dell. And he is going to have a Texans first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third and a yard. Now a timeout called for by the offense, as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Let's do this. That's Let's what go it do is. this thing. Let's go, man. Now they'll throw it with Stroud here, first and 10. Throw over the middle is taken in by Dell. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that's going to bring up second down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. The throwing again is Stroud. Got a man. It's Collins complete. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they get it right at the 30-second mark of this first half. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Here's third and a few inches. Stroud working out of the gun. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul Cameron it in. Johnston on fourth down, out is the putter. Cameron Johnston to boot it away. Deontay Hardy back deep. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. The Bills offense now for one final time in this first half. And they'll begin inside their own 10, so field position certainly not in their favor here. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems he? like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. Here's Allen on first and 10. Shakir hauls it in. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. 
18-yard line. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills taking the lead to the locker room. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports halftime report. All right. It's still anybody's game at seven to nothing as both of these defenses have been out there trying to one up one another. Just the one touchdown of that first half. 7-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. It's been a tight game to this point. What do they need to do, Charles, to break through in the second half and take the lead? Well, I think the first thing they need to do is thank their defense for keeping them in this game. And, you know, I think the defense is in back to them. Why don't you guys focus on getting some first downs, put some drives together, give us a little bit of a break here. If we can get some rest, we'll play even better for you. And, oh, by the way, pay off a few of those drives with some points, too. Now here's Stroud to the right side and caught by Dell. Calling a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. Terry, they'll go up the middle. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. First and ten, it's Stroud. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. So just three yards on the completion there. And it's second down. Time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Houston. It's Texans football, but they trail here as we get started in the fourth quarter. And that absolutely cannot happen. Just a gain of a yard in this situation. You've got to get chunks of yardage. Otherwise, the defense, very happy with what you're doing. They'll come to the line now on a third and six. Here's Stroud. In the hands of Singletary. And he is going to have the Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Here's first down. Stroud to throw it. Steps away to his left. And he goes down to number four, getting this inside the 25. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. 
Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. Second and six coming up. Stroud. This will be caught by Brown. Gosh, given the time and the short game, would he have been better off just dropping that? Yeah, when you look at the clock, you think so. But it's hard to get a receiver to drop a football. They're trained to catch everything. A big play looming on third down. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. Now Stroud. Break in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And now here comes their final timeout as they take it with eight ticks remaining. Now first and goal. Here's Stroud. To the back of the end zone, but too high. Over everybody and incomplete. Defensively now, one more play to stop. What are they looking for? You want to take away their number one running option that you've scouted and take away their number one receiver and see if someone else can beat you. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line. Second and goal. One final shot for C.J. Stroud. And he's in for the touchdown with the clock reading triple zeros. And the extra point, if they hit it, will send this thing to overtime. Obviously, the excitement level here is almost a fever pitch. Down one is tempted to go for two. <laughs> I say you go ahead and kick the extra point. You got the home crowd carrying into overtime. I'm with you. I do you see some fans though holding up two fingers? Easy now. Yeah, but they're not the ones who have to actually make that call, are they? Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Four quarters, not enough for all even, and to overtime we go. How much fun is this for everyone who's watching the game? How much fun is it for us to see this one get an extra period to get settled? So the Texans will have the first opportunity here in the overtime session as we are back underway. And not much happening on the return as we'll get this to about the 23. Now comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter, get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. That's a good hard running there as he'll push his way forward for about five. He wasn't able to really get anything going in regulation. Maybe it'll be a little different story here in overtime. And it appears that with that call, they want to establish the run in overtime, try and set the tone for what they're going to get done. And you're right, maybe it didn't work so well in regulation. Overtime could be the charm. And by the way, yards count either way. And he's got Jordan complete right side. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. 
was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Hoping to keep this OT drive alive. Now they face a third and two. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. Yeah, he's going to be stopped short of the first down as they get to him at about the 33. Well, they only need about a half a foot. It's overtime, but they're back in their own territory. And you know those decision makers that are battling inside the head coach's mind right now? One saying, hey, offense is pretty good. Other one saying, no, 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 rely on your defense. That's what you've got to decide in this situation. Where do you have the confidence? That determines what you're going to do. Here's Cameron Johnston now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, their defense did the job, got off the field without giving up any points, and now, Charles, all they need here is a field goal, and they get the victory. Yeah, and this is the way I love overtime. I'm one of those really, really old school guys that like sudden death right from the beginning. But well, we've got it now because any points wins the game. On defense, get a safety, a pick six, fumble return. You can win it as well. So I'm really looking forward to this series and see how both sides play it. Oh, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the former first rounder, Jimmy Moore. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. This defense making a huge play with that interception on the second drive of overtime. So, Charles, there will be a third drive of overtime. And remember, again, a field goal wins it. And right now, the kicker is thinking hero in his head. But when it actually happens, if it does happen, he's got to go back and congratulate the man who got the interception and set them up. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. Now the Bills will take another timeout. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. So on is their kicker, and it's down to this. This to win it in overtime. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And the Texans are going to win the football game. So as it turns out, a two-play drive resulting in the field goal. Well, obviously, Charles, this was by no means an offensive track meet. I mean, the defenses were the story in this ball game, but hey, they got enough points to get the job done, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. You're absolutely right about that, partner. In such a low-scoring game, it completely changes everything you had planned to do out there. Fortunately for them, they got just enough scoring to bring home the win, and in this type of a game, the play of their defense, that became one of their biggest keys. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm